So over here is the swing key, you'll see. Make sure you put these gloves on. I already cut my hands. See, I cut all this junk out and it's all crap. Uh, see what I mean? You can see right through it. They didn't freaking seal it right from the factory. Yeah. So it just rips right off. See? So look at this, they hid all their sawdust in here too. That's not like, and they did use sawdust mixed with epoxy. Maybe that's what they did. They laid this in here while they were working, but they never cleaned up after they were done. So that sucks up the monster. So, they also put this, somebody did this afterwards. Just put some uh, fairing compound on the side here. And I just literally, tapped it with the hammer and it fell right off. Oh, I wish I could have put that all on camera. See, here's all that stuff. That's why I want it on camera before I throw it all the way. All this stuff here is all crap. So, I'm going to vacuum this all out with the shop vac. Let these drop. But look. See, you can pretty well see what I'm going to do. I'm just going to knock those out and put new ones in. No sense in messing with that junk. There you go, we got something live. See what I mean? These weren't done right. They're soaking wet. <laughs> when I hit that, I got it in my face. Come on, then you got a minute. This is the factory that screwed up. See that? So, you can see I do stuff the manly way. I don't sit here and try to patch this up. I don't even need a freaking chisel to get this off. Isn't that much nicer now without that? Now, yeah, that'll butt right up into this. Thank God that worked good. So, how about this one? That one's asking for trouble. You know, might as well take them both out. So, you don't need to see me do that. I'll loosen this seam up here with the chisel. Like this. Score it. Lift right off of there. Oh my god, see, look at this. When they put that in there, I'm trying to show you, this is all hollow in here. See? When they wrapped it around there, these guys were showing me on the internet, YouTube, how to do composites right and the vacuum to seal them and all, and make sure that's tight. I'm telling you, just by taking a, a paintbrush, one of them China Brussels, and going like this. You can push that right into the, and made it especially strong. That ain't holding shit. Dude, that's crap. It's an asshole job if I ever saw it. If you look at that, it comes right off. I'm just doing this for the camera. I wouldn't bother doing that, but see, look at that. Is that not crap? Look, you can see right through it. They didn't even seal it. See, I bought this real... I don't know if you've seen on um, this old house, how they got, came in and sealed that old antique farmhouse. Yeah, they make some fish with boxes that I own now, bought some, for sealing the wood. But I had no idea it was this bad. See what I mean? Oh my God. Those pieces are junk. They weigh a ton. They feel like pressure treated lumber just came out of the pressure treated. Now you know you want to cut yourself on that crap, huh? Now that's the way I roll, buddy. Look at that. Can you see that right now? It's a big blob of 
crap that they mixed with sawdust. And that's what I think this was. Yeah. And that's what's so fun about working on these old boats. This saw cut right here. Look how far away that is from the um, the wood. I mean, it's like it could stick. Uh, it's not even tied up against there. It's not supporting anything really. All right, these are the stringers underneath the floor on a Catalina 25 1982 model. Okay, I was working right on this stringer right here. And I drilled this hole in here because there was no way for the water to get out. And I was going to let it dry. Then I was going to seal it with an epoxy sealer. But the more I think about it, back in 19, it wasn't going to dry. And I never would have been able to seal it. So it wasn't done right from the factory. You can see the air holes. And they put some kind of dog shit on there. It looks like uh, sawdust mixed with epoxy because they were way off the stringers. So what I'm thinking is to make cardboard templates with scissors, you know, and cut this perfectly and keep setting the cardboard in there so I get it perfect tight so I don't have to use so much of this. That wasn't done right anyway. I swear to God it wasn't even touching here. You can see how he had them crowned up here and they were supposed to smush on there. And they didn't smush on there. They would have been flat, see? That would have been flat. That wouldn't have been such a high crown on there. So we put a wedge in here and that's the only place it held. So the floor it like creaked in an old farmhouse, you know that annoying creaking sound? So and you can see this stringer right here, which went into the uh, swing keel that sticks up to the floor, I'll show you then, had a knot in it too. And if you look at that pretty closely, I'm going to take this to the mill for further examination, but doesn't that look like it was pressure treated type of wood they put in there? And it's real so heavy. It's just the same problem people have with pressure treated wood. There's no way I was going to ever put that. Uh, I saw that on this old house. It's epoxy sealer. And see these are all taken out. So I put this up for a documentation. So I have a future reference. You can see. Look at that. That is just all wrong. See. So these just pretty well ripped right out. Here they put some kind of stuff, but that wasn't done right. So what I did is I went to Home Depot and bought this wood here, which is uh, uh, it's not fir, it's a cedar. And I'm sure I learned that from the cedar stripper canoes. So yeah, I'm not going to cut it. I was tracing this out, I'm going to cut it, but there's this much of a gap between this and the swing keel. So by making templates and copying off the templates, I have a better uh, knotless piece of cedar wood, which I'm going to put that epoxy sealer. The epoxy sealer soaks right into the wood about an inch. So this will be completely saturated with epoxy. Yep, and it'll be cedar. And then I'm also going to wrap it with the cloth, not roving. I think the roving was just put on there so they don't go like this. But yeah, they weren't holding anything up. Yep. So it's best to do the job right, you know. So here we are in the cockpit of the Catalina 25 and we're looking down into the galley where I cut the floor out. It should be easily repaired. I'll just put some like right along here, I'll put some plywood that's also wrapped in cloth and sealed underneath that, screw it in, and then it'll lay right on there. I just wanted to show you this is what it looks like underneath the floor in the bilge. So I wouldn't recommend using this, uh, this uh, 2258 product like they did, even though it was hard to chisel out here. So I, they might have done the job right there and they might not have put enough cloth epoxy in with it to mix it to get it to form in there before the water run underneath there. I do want this nice and strong. So I'm going to patch this all in right here. I cut right to the floor. The floor wasn't even done right in this area. So I'm going to patch that in with cloth and then start building the roving up right there. And then I'm going to lap it all the way up here to the swing keel tower here. 
that's where the keel goes when it's down. Yep. So that's about it. And I sanded all these nasty spots off. Right here was one of the uh, stringers. Right here was a stringer. And like I said, it was sticking out this far here. So I'm going to make some perfect ones out of cardboard for templates. Yeah, and right here with the stringer. Why are these two stringers were too close together? And you can see you had sawdust and all kinds of crud in here. There was actually tin cans under here, which I can't figure out how they got the tin cans under here. There's no way they can get under here unless they throw them in here when they built the boat. <laughs> yeah. A lot of construction people do that stuff. You know, they throw their soda cans in the, in the job just to let you know. They're my soda cans, because this is completely sealed up. There's only little holes to get to. Every place that there's an observation port, they fix that area up real nice. And so you could see, the customer could see it, but everything else was done shady. Really nasty job. So now we'll do it right. Fix it right. You need one of these sponges here if you're going to sponge it up real good. So here's what the floor looks like. See, everywhere there was an observation port like this, that's where they did a nice job. So, you know, the customer that's buying the boat would think it was done good, you know. But you can see where they piled that bird shit up on them stringers. That was all wrong. And the one place it wasn't even touching. They had to put a wedge in there at the very end. You know, what are they going to do? Jump the boat? You know. And right here's the mast step. This right here doesn't even come down and hit the floor. See, they were supposed to, like, set this thing with bird shit, like this stuff here, dog shit, whatever you want to call it, and it was supposed to, like, on this sponge, sit right on there and settle. You know what I mean? But they didn't. You can see, I'll put it in up here to show you. See how much lower it sits? didn't even sit on the floor or anything. The step was actually floating. It was a floating like that. There's about at least over an inch between the mass step and the floor, so I cut that out. That should be easy to fix because they can reach up underneath here to epoxy. This is all hollow. At the same time, I can run the wires right up to the mast now. See? I'll be able to drill a hole through the side here and up through the top where the mass sits right here and then you can run the wires right up through it. Yep. So that wasn't done right. That's going to be the hardest thing to epoxy back in. Yeah. So right here I drilled a hole when I first got the boat because the only way to pump it out was to do the saw. And what I realized is I bought this here from Perco, a Garber drain plug with the solid brass. And now that I got to this point, which I didn't know I was going to have to cut all that floor out of the floor yet, I'll be able to lay this right in here and embed it into this uh, roving now. Yes, the roving in this... Uh, cloth we're not going to use the 2258 no more not not in the build so i wouldn't reckon it for for the sides and like the cabin that's pretty good stuff but uh, for like something that's sitting in the water all the time like the build it's no good it turned into paper mache through here after it got wet we're bleaching it out right now with the bleach bleacher so if you got a boat you want to get one of these here Bleach sprayer. They're pretty cheap and they actually work without plugging up. See? Of course, you gotta use some silicone grease on the uh, rubber o ring once in a while, though. So we'll set this in there and it'll be nice and flush with the rest of the boat and you'll be able to drain it. So you can't put one of these in the in the keel of a sailboat because this part of the boat right here where my hand is right here is actually 
right level if I put one on there. So there'd be at least two feet of water here in the galley before it would come out the back like it would on a speedboat, you know. Speedboats can leave these open in the back and just gun it and the water will just come right out while they're right in the lake. You just got to remember to put them back in, right? So yeah, I'd I drill one of these holes right here in my sailboat if I was you. Only if it's a trailer sailor. You leave it in the water, obviously you don't need a hole in your sailboat. But these people aren't thinking outside the box for themselves, you know, it's on a trailer. You leave it in your driveway, so yeah, you put one of these in there, you don't have to run the bilge all winter. It just goes right through. But, uh, yeah, you're probably already going to have this, uh, where is that piece of that 2258 fabric? It's probably all rotted out on you too. So you probably have to tail the floor up like this too. If you want to do the job right. Okay, thanks for watching there. Hope you learned something.